So good coffee is absolutely essential to successful camping. Um, we've tried so many different uh, ways to make coffee and we reckon we've absolutely nailed it. So it starts with really good quality beans. We've been getting our beans from Espresso Tenango. Um, they do deliver all over. I'm getting what I think is probably just like their cafe blend, um, sort of appeals to most tastes, and that's the TNG. He also does a lot of specialty roasts, but this is just a really solid performer. Um, and then you need a really good quality grinder, a hand grinder. Um, they're few and far between. We've tried stuff from like, uh, where did we get the last one from? Kitchen Warehouse. Kitchen Warehouse, um, rubbish. This is the third one I've had. Uh, and it's the best, again, from Espresso to Nango. Comes in two sizes. This one's perfect for a three cup mocha pot. Uh, they do a bigger one that's good for a six cup. So good brine, grind and a good grinder. It's about getting that grind right for however, make you, however you make your coffee. So this one's like adjustable on the bottom. You can adjust it pretty much from flour, um, like a really, really uh, thin grind to whatever you need, something thicker for a, for a percolator or something like that. So that's perfect, uniform grind, just ever so gritty, like really fine sand. Um, we use the Bialetti Mocha Pot. Italians have been using them for hundreds of years. They're aluminium. You can also get one with a, um, uh, a steel bottom so you can use it in your, on your induction top. Uh, but this one, yeah, I stick it on the gas stove, I stick it on the fire. Um, got a little portable stove if we haven't got the whole camper kitchen pulled out. Um, so we'll bang that on the stove. Oh, you never press down. You don't want to compact your, um, your grinds. If you compact it, then as the water's coming through from the bottom, it struggles and you get a stronger, more bitter coffee. So don't compact it down, fill it to the top like that. Once you've worked out how to use a mocha pot, um, you just, you'll know. Uh, it's not hard, but it, we've certainly stuffed a few up. You never wash these things with detergent either, because all the natural oils from the coffee like improves the taste. So you give it a rinse out with water, but you never wash it with detergent. Gas on full ball. Um, while that's going, I'll get the milk on. Gotta use full fat milk. I don't know why. It's probably science, but it tastes better. Um, we're using the Breville electric milk frother had a few different milk frothers over the years the reason i like this one is just because you can get uh, more capacity of milk in it so this will take about 600 mils or something so easily two big coffees uh, and you can do three coffees at a pinch as well draws about 900 watt i think um, i'm obviously running it off grid we're not plugged into 240 volt ever so 2000 watt inverter lithium batteries you can run it off also run a, a coffee machine if you wanted to um, but honestly, we get better coffee out of the mocha pot once you know what you're doing. Uh, we'll even pick that over Bristol coffee when we're in town quite often. This is the exact same process we do at home. We still use the mocha pot. Uh, I do use an electric grinder at home. Um, but yeah, still good quality beans. You've got to get the correct grind. They've got to be fresh. They've got to be, you know, roasted uh, no more than six weeks since their roasting date. But this grinder is as good as the electric one that we have at home. It is, yeah. Just requires some manual input. Um, but it's also a hell of a lot cheaper than our benchtop grinder, so yeah, really good option. Anywho, we'll keep an eye on that mocha pot. Right, as soon as that coffee starts coming out slowly, I wind my gas right back just to slow it down. Because the slower the water's going through that um, puck of coffee grinds, the stronger your brew's going to be. But you want a steady flow. And you'll see because we're using fresh beans, we're going to get a good amount of crema on the side of that pot. So you've got to be watching this like a hawk, I reckon, because if you just leave this on full ball and you come back and it's boiling over, you'll end up with burnt coffee. Right, so it's starting to go quicker now. I'll turn the gas completely off. And then I'll shut the lid and I'll leave that. The gas is off, but it's still on that hot element. And I'll just leave that now for a minute or so and that just gets the, all that water out of the bottom chamber through the grinds and it'll, it'll give me the biggest volume of prepared coffee so at the same time it looks like my milk froth has just finished oh 
lot of people will just drink black coffee or you can even get an espresso shot straight out of that mocha. We like sort of cappuccino style. So we like the frothy milk. If you don't have a milk frother um, or you don't want to run one because you don't have a inverter or whatever other reason, another option is to get one of these stainless steel milk frothers. Um, so that entire thing is stainless steel. You heat your milk over your gas hob and then once it's reached your desired temperature, about 60, 70 degrees, you pull it off. You can give it a bit of a pump up if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that fine mesh makes it all frothy. And it's quite good actually, it does a pretty good job. The only reason I don't like these um, is because you do have to be washing that like a hawk over the hob. If you burn milk, you, you change the flavour of it as you probably already know. And burnt milk tastes pretty disgusting. So you gotta watch that. Bit of chalky powder on top. Just using Cadbury's drinking powder, that's our favourite. Nothing fancy here. That's it. Cheers, bye. Cheers. So good. And consistent, once you know what you're doing. You've got to get fresh beans, it's got to be good quality beans. You've got to get the right grind down to that uh, fine sort of gritty sand I was talking about for the mock pot anyway. Full fat milk and watch that mocha pot on the stove. Don't let it boil over. If you've uh, had a few cracks with the mocha pot and you haven't got it right yet, experiment with that grind, get it right. Um, uh, slow down that heat after it gets started and turn the heat off as soon as it starts to bubble out. Um, don't compact it. Like I said, don't compact the grounds down and uh, never wash the thing with dishwashing liquid uh, and just keep trying because once you nail it, you'll get that god shot and You'll be stoked.